Okay, son, I got you. Ah, uh, beggar, 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 beggar. I cannot come and kill myself. <sighs> I got this for you. I know it's a little forward to bring you flowers, especially since you just broke up with your fiancé, but uh, I thought they might cheer you up. Um, can I sit down? Yes, yes. All right. Wow. Uh, lovely place you have here. I better come and get dressed if we're going to be early. Okay. My sister, this has got to be a medical condition. How can she forget that she has a date with this guy? So what am I supposed to say now? Hi, I'm sorry my sister stood you up. Technically, I'm not Annie. I, 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 I'm Steph. I'm not Annie. I don't forget things. I'm Steph. It's just stupid. But... to my door. I know, but uh, I think that's the right thing to do. I mean, as a gentleman. I had a really great time tonight. Yeah, I did too. Uh, yeah. The funny thing is that we never even talked about work. <laughs> I wouldn't have had much to say anyhow. Well, I, I guess we'll see you on Monday, right? Tonight. So, we had a beautiful evening, went out, 
at a romantic dinner. Really, really nice. And then we talked a little more. And he said he was sorry for the past and how much he wanted us to come back together. It was just... <sighs> so you guys are on a repair plan. Oh, you can go with whatever. <clears throat> how about you? I just couldn't stop thinking about you being all alone in this house. What did you... What do you do? I I found something to keep myself busy. Oh, really? Um. So, what are we doing today? Oh, right, so I was thinking. Um. Let me see. 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 We could. Oh, and I made plans with Daniel again. It's, the thing is, well, we could go to the mall after I'm done with him. I promise. Seriously. As long as we're going shopping, I can forgive you. Yeah, so you're going to shop, get some new clothes. Some... OMG, I left the tap on. Oh. oh. It's just that I have something to do in the afternoon. Maybe we can do a hookup this morning. That sounds good. How about we meet by 10? Sure, sure. Sure, it's fine. Okay. See you at 10. Okay, bye. All right, bye. This? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. No, 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 no problem. No problem. Everything is okay. Everything is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. Fantastic. I just uh, wanted to know if uh, you will have um, a few days free, you know, the next few weeks. Yeah, I wanted us to meet up. You know, I want you to meet somebody. No, come on. I just want you to meet her, you know, talk to her, and then tell me what you think about, you know, what you think about her. Yeah, okay. So you just let me know if you have a few days, you know, free so that we can meet up. Okay, all right, fine.
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, love you, love you always. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>
Um, is this something you want to talk about? Actually, I am not Annie. Are you okay? God. You really need to tell them the truth before this split out of control. I know, but I'm afraid of what it would do. You like my brother, don't you? I do. I mean, my life is classes, exams, term papers. I really don't go out and the only boys that I get to meet are the ones that come to my study groups. Those ones don't even want to study, they just want to hang around but your brother, Louis, Louis is so kind and, and caring and so unselfish. I've never met anyone like that before. I've never heard anyone describe my brother like this before. Wait. If they both work in the same office, how come they never figured this out? Louis said something about me being very professional at the office. Oh, well, that explains a lot. He probably doesn't want anybody to think that he's having an office affair. But, Steph, I still think you should tell them the truth. You're right. But before then, could you just keep this as our secret? Yes, I will. Trust me. Okay. Wow. <sighs> Kidding. I'm personating my own sister. <sighs> okay. I'm going to tell him today. I will tell him today. Maybe maybe he 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 wouldn't mind that I'm not Annie. Maybe he'll maybe he'll love me and have you placed in his heart for Steph? I'm coming! I can do this. I, I thought you were going to be with Daniel all day. Daniel pulled his hamstring and instead of letting me rub it with my golden fingers, mm -hmm. he decides to drop me off and go home saying that he was going to make it up to me later tonight. He does that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Anyways, what are you up to? My boyfriend is outside and we're going on a date. Mr. Mystery Man! Yes, don't be silly, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. So, I'll see you later. You have fun. Yes, I will. Have fun!
Bega, 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 bega. I cannot come and kill myself. That moron. His pulled hamstring was him being with a lady that one of his friends hooked him up with. Don't do that. No, no man is worth putting your health at risk. Come. Look at you. You're, you're a CEO of a reputable company. You're in your 20s. You're smart. You're strong. You're beautiful. You don't need this. He doesn't get you. It's fine. Back to work already? Yeah, I have a presentation to do tomorrow, so I have some loose ends to tie. Wow. Like, I really admire your mental toughness. I mean, just a while ago, you were an emotional wreck. Now, look at you preparing for a presentation. Preparing, yes. Dealing with Daniel has taught me how to be prepared for possibilities, especially the ones that are not so chummy. Yeah, don't distract me. <laughs> Oh my god. Did I scare you? No, no, no. no. It's just uh, I'm trying to prepare for my presentation. I didn't realize I'm all been home. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. yeah, it's, it's fine. You do fine. Thank you. Lewis has told me a lot about you. Mm. So I'm looking forward to your presentation in the boardroom. You're going to be at the presentation? Mm -hmm. And you know, Lewis. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm asking too many questions, but I haven't seen your face around you. Are you new in the company? I'm David Oladile. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Oladile. The Oladile. Mr. David Oladile. Oh my God. <laughs> You're the co-owner of this company. I mean, I, I, I heard you've been out of town. Yeah, of course. We're just um, trying to make a brand a global one. I mean, it's good to see new faces around. You guys are doing immensely well. But you know we can better ourselves. Yes, right? absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Right. So, um, I'll see you at the boardroom. Mm, okay. Yes, yes, boardroom. Yeah. Of course. All right. Okay, so first of all, my name is David. Alright. Secondly, I want to let you know that I was very pleased with your presentation today. Thank you, sir. And um, 
we are considering opening a new division of the company. Really? Yeah. And you know it gets better. Yeah. Because you're the first person to know that the three of you being promoted are going to be opening this division. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm so proud of everything you've done. You did, you did amazingly well. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so, um, will that be all? Um, uh, not exactly. Uh, you know, I, I, I'd like to see a movie tomorrow night. And, okay. Do you mind joining me? Me? Yes. Uh, uh, it, it's a generous offer. It's just that um, I kind of just broke up with my boyfriend and it was a long term kind of thing. So I'm not. Um, you, you know what? We could. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, we, we could. You know, go to a restaurant, any restaurant of your choice. You know, maybe if it's um, going to make you comfortable, we could just you know make it a business dinner. Okay, yeah. I can totally do that. Sounds good. Right. So um, we'll go over your promotion and talk about our new objectives for the new division. That would definitely work. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, I'll, I'll see you later, yeah. Okay. Um, see you later. Yes, later. Just a second. This is good news. Hey. Hi. I saw you leaving Davis' office, all happy, laughing. What was that about? Well, he gave me insight into information that I'm not privy to share with you. Um, and then, afterwards, he says we should go out on a date, a business dinner, and um, to discuss the new path for the company. It's exciting. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I need to put a call to assist them again. You know, it's not every time I get to see this type of transition often. I mean, you just got back from the office and you've changed from your office where to this. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> My company's co-director wants me to accompany him to the movies. Wow! Whoa! Don't give me that look! No, 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 no. I'm not thinking it. You're not thinking it, so we're not thinking it. It's just that... I'm not over Lewis's advances. Like, I don't get it. I don't have time for this. Like, I just want him to step it up this time and then maybe... Just maybe, I'll give it a thought, you know? <laughs> Hello? No, 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 I don't have time for this, okay? I'll see you in a bit, okay? <laughs> Gotta go. See you later. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the movie last night. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. Nah, I know you're just being sarcastic because you know that I slept halfway through it. I'm so sorry. I've been feeling embarrassed ever since. <laughs> yeah, I know. I... Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Tom. Hello. <clears throat> I, uh, I apologize for boring you with my 
movie preference? Hmm, I mean, I enjoyed your company throughout. I mean, my belly still hurts from <laughs> laughing and laughing and laughing. It's just that my kind of forte is romance, rom com, you know, that kind of stuff. You know? Really? Yeah. I thought you loved non fictional movies. <laughs> Excuse me, David. Oh, Lewis. The file for Salado Limited proposal just got on your desk. Oh, really? Uh, that's quite important. It's an urgent one. We need to attend sure. to it. Um, Annie, mm. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. Found out the terms and uh, append your signature to it. Okay, I can totally do that. But you didn't have to come all the way. You could just send your secretary. I guess you want to keep everybody busy. So. I guess there's a lot of work to do around you today. But uh, I was just thinking about a little matter. Um, okay. Don't you think you were, you were getting too close to David? Well, you could have just said so it's all been this dramatic. Look, um, keeping a professional relationship with him as I am with you, so... Yeah, professional relationship with him, so... Keep it up. Yes, yes, yes. 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 your usual bubbly self. What, what's going on? I went to the hospital today. Okay, you're sick again. I think it's time we do a comprehensive test. I... not ill. What is it? <laughs> yeah! There's nothing to be excited about. God, this is good! I'm not ready for this. No. Honey. We love each other very much. You are a graduate from a prestigious university in the US. I am a director in my company. What else do we need? What else? Think about it. I mean, I have long been wanting to start a family and from the first time I laid my eyes on you, I saw us having a family together. Let's do this. I love you. Come on, please. This is ridiculous. Like, why are you forcing a smile? Oh, come on, does it look like I'm forcing a smile? Yes. Ah, okay, I'm not. Um, I was kind of thinking, what name would you like to give our first child? I beg your pardon, our? 
Okay, uh, apologies, let me rephrase it. Uh, what name would you like to give uh, your first child? Okay, this thought hasn't crossed my mind. Okay, what do you think of Mildred? Okay, this is weird. I don't know why you're asking me this particular question, but yes, Mildred is a wonderful name. Why the preference for a big girl, though? I've always wanted my first child to be a girl. Aww. Me too. Actually. That's good. That's good. Okay, so I'll just um, sign this and then... I really, really do want to have a baby with you, Louise. But it's more complicated. I mean, where do I go from here? Annie can't find out. She can't find this out. What have I gotten myself into? Luis, please understand if I can't keep this baby. Please. I just, I don't know what to do. Hey, sis. What did you... <laughs> did you go shoplifting? Ha 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 ha. I wish at least that way I won't have to spend so much money on shopping and groceries. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. I know you're used to American fashion and British fashion and Tom Ford and blah, blah, blah. But what I have right here is some serious high street fashion. There you go. Yeah, this is like aquamarine green, blue. Aquamarine green. Mm -hmm. Good. So I told you, you would love it. What's up with this your mood in these past few days? Another bumper deal, I guess, at work. <laughs> so, you think work is the only thing that gets me giddy up? Come on. Well, you know you're pretty much a business-minded person. So it's quite easy to tell. All right, you missed it. So, try a little harder. Just guess. It's easy. Just guess a few things. Let's see which one. Which Come on, Louis. Just guess. You are not good at guessing, so let it out. Okay. I am going to be a father. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, congratulations to you. Thank you, I... thank you. Wow, this thank is you. News. So thank you. Oh has she started her antenatal session? How come I didn't think about it? I mean she didn't even mention it to me, so I Oh anyway, don't worry. Leave every medical runs to me. I will handle it, it's Anna. Is that I, okay? I trust you, I trust you. I know that you are capable of handling everything, so I feel confident. Once she's in your hands, she's in the best, the best, the best ever hands. Alright, no problem, let me just call her, let me call her. Okay. Hello, Annie. Yes, how are you? Fine, thank you, Mom. Annie, congratulations to you. Yes, Louis just broke the news to me. Okay, um, see, you have to start your antenatal sessions, okay? Antenatal? Yes. Don't worry. We have a doctor on the island. Okay, um, thank you, Mom. <clears throat> Wow, she's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> she will be. Wow. She will be. But it is it's good to have you around, at least, you know, these things that we don't think about. Um, you're just going to fit in perfectly. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow. Cheers to that, bro. Cheers to that, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and Nata? Yes, um, my friends, mothers, and cousins, um, sister just conceived and um, she gave me the good news so I have something in the kitchen I'd like to go and take care of it now okay. 
I'd be a liar if I say to you, David, that I'm not aware of your amorous advances. So what's the indecision of that? Indecision. I mean, I, I, uh, I think we can be great together. You don't think so? Time. Look, we've just known each other for a couple of weeks and I just got out of a bad breakup, so I think we should chill. You know what? I think it's fine. It's, it's worth the wait. Me asking you to wait doesn't guarantee anything. I need time to know exactly what I want for myself. Okay, still. I'll wait as long as it takes. <sighs> yes, right away. Oh. Why the low face? Are you okay? Is there any problem? No, you can tell me. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Just. I still haven't told Louise that I'm not Annie. And I am pregnant for him. And my sister wants him to step up his advances towards her. Just. I don't know what to think. Just. Just. I'm just wondering that any moment from now my secret will be revealed and what am I going to do? Come on, don't overthink things. Nothing has been said at your office. Neither is a secret out. Don't worry, he will know in due time, okay? But right now we have to leave for the hospital, okay? Come on. It's okay. Come on. It's me. Um, Annie, you have a call. The phone! Damn! The phone is ringing! I know you want to answer the phone. You better pick up the phone. The phone is ringing! It's David, again? Just, just answer his call. No! I mean, I'm trying to... I've not yet made up my mind. I, I feel like I'm in a dilemma. I want Louis to step up with his game, but it's David who is showing me all, all the attention. I don't know what to do. Okay. I don't mean to influence your decision, but if you ask me, David is a much better option compared to Daniel. And he looks like the ideal man that will wipe away all the pain that Daniel has caused you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just so confused right now. Confused? You're not confused. I am confused. Over spilled milk. I mean, let's just find a way to move forward. I should have known better. I could have kept the baby. Look, Ali, it's not your fault. Susan explained to me, she told me everything. And I even read the medical report. I found out that your blood type is Rh negative. There were a number of things that should have been done to ensure that you didn't have a miscarriage. But exactly. It's happened. Look, let's just learn from this and then, you know, move on. 
please. I don't want you beating yourself all the time. God is punishing me. No, come on. God is not punishing you. I was so concerned. I had to tell Susan. I don't know what's going on. Honey, honey. <laughs> come here. It's okay. Susan, explain everything to me. We can always have another baby. We can always, always make another baby. All right. Trust you're feeling much better now. Yeah, better? Yeah, I need Yeah, so there are some very important files I'd like you to verify. Yeah, right now. Come along to my office. on my mind. Yeah. The press conference is next week. The press conference next week. You know, I will miss you around the office. I mean, <laughs> I know you will. I will see you in the evening, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know why. I just find myself falling so crazily for you. And I, I'm just... Hoping that you would like us to take this relationship to the next level, you know. Louis, I have something to tell you. Yeah, and I have something I want to do. So, um, <clears throat> what is it you wanted to tell me? Nothing. Nothing. It's, 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 um, it's not important. <laughs> okay. Let you say so. All right, let's go. Come here. Yes, do to that to my office. Hey. Hello. So, the press conference will be in the morning and then I'll introduce you and the rest of the staff afterward. Is that okay? Um, sounds like a plan. What is that on your, your face? What? I have no idea. Why would you do something like that? I'm just trying to break my own rules. I have a kiss in the office. And why would you do that? Because I thought you would love some spontaneity. I'm trying to be spontaneous. Via sexual harassment? Sexual harassment? What yes. What are you talking about? <laughs> Annie, we've been dating for the past 10 weeks. That is a bit too deluded. What do you mean dating? We're not dating. Annie, what's wrong with you? Is this, are, you are you okay? You and I, we've been dating. Dating? Yes. We are dating, you and I. What? Ha! 
how could you? How could you? So I'm gonna kill you. I'm so freaking bad. I want blood. Steph, I'm gonna kill you. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. So all that time, all that time, all that time. Now tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. You and Louis, what's going on? Louis and myself? No! Louis and Scooby Doo! What is happening between you two? Louis and I are lovers. You mean you impersonated me? You deceived him? You betrayed me? Why are you blowing this? Out of proportion. You steal my man and I am blowing things out of proportion? I take your man. Have you forgotten? Don't you remember? Can't you go together? I don't have the energy for Louis and his advances today, no. This Louis guy though, is he that bad? You know, he's actually kind of really rich. He's our company's director. I mean, what's the biggie? Go girl, right? The biggie is, you all seem to forget that I am in a relationship with Daniel. <sighs> is that a relationship or... A situation ship. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Thing is, Daniel means everything to me. And then I like to keep Louis. It's just a friend. I want to keep things professional in the office. That's it. Mm -hmm. Whatever mm -hmm means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, why are you staring at me like you've seen a ghost? I... Oh, you, I was... you thought I was going to come to take you out after hearing you were sick? Come on. I uh, came to see how you were doing and I brought something for you. Uh, the flowers for you. <laughs> come here. Get rid of some, okay? And I will see you at the office tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? What did he say? He came to give you this bouquet. Give it. As soon as. Are you serious right now? Why are you blushing? I'm not blushing. He. He's just a really sweet guy. He kissed my forehead and hugged me. Like, seriously, it's just Louis. He's like my director at the office. How does he do these things? Like, I don't get it. I don't even see him in that light. Like, you. Ugh. So. Hello. Okay. Why are you being so dramatic? I'm not being, I just, <sighs> the few moments I spent with him, sis, you don't know what you're missing. They were heavenly. 
<sighs> Look, you have a flight to catch tomorrow. Okay, I hope your things are packed. I know, I, I have sorted out everything. Yeah. Okay, so I don't have time for this. That is history! He has feelings for me now. No! Feelings for me! Because he thinks you are Annie. He doesn't have feelings for Steph. He doesn't know who Steph is. Stay with my man! Steph, I'm not angry with you anymore. I, I, I promise, I promise, okay? Just, just, I'm just worried about your safety. Oh, God. I wish you Oh, God. Where are you? Hi, Steph. Look, look, I, I didn't call you to fight, okay? I've just been really worried and I'm glad you picked up the phone. You went out last night and you never came back. I mean, you're my sister regardless. And yes, I am upset with you. I feel sidelined and betrayed. But please, please come back home. Please, let's sort it out. Let's not let anything come between our sisterhood. Please. Okay. Hey, Annie. What's up? You sounded so serious. What is it? So this is um, a lot harder than I thought. <clears throat> okay. Louis, can you remember the first night we went out together? Of course I do. I mean, I came to pick you up. You were not ready. I uh, waited for about 20 minutes. And then you came downstairs uh, looking all fabulous. Wearing this beautiful black jumpsuit. Yeah, and uh, went out for the charity dinner. We had fun, met a lot of uh, celebrities politicians and then we ended up at the restaurant and then we came home and you gave me that fabulous kiss and since then we've been dating and having some wonderful time sounds like we had a great time together yes we did <laughs> there's just one problem it wasn't me that went out with you that night. Excuse me. Hey, how are you doing? Lewis. Oh. What are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? What's Chill. good, bro? You okay? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> are you playing games or something? Because if I didn't go out with you, Annie, that I know that works in my office, then who was it that I went out with? And I. Oh, uh, okay, so. That's, uh... David, relax. Louis, you went out with someone else that night. It wasn't me. It was me. My name is Steph.
What's wrong? I don't know what else to do. I mean, why would he think that we're trying to play a joke on him? I've worked too hard on this project to see it go up in flames. Just take it easy. Lewis has never had that much luck with women, you know? Well, ever since I met him in college, you know, we've always gone to parties, went to clubs, you know. We met a lot of girls. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no one really wanted to have anything serious with him with regards to the relationship, you know. He just became that guy everyone was, you know, cool with, hanging out with and going out with. And that, that was just it. You almost couldn't buy him a date. <sighs> okay, I, I don't know what all that means, but he needs to come around because my sister is just crying and moping around and it's getting on my nerves. We need to do something. I think I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> you too. I always do. <laughs> we'll give him that poison. I can't believe this. So you knew about her all along and you said nothing. Yes, I did. And also told you that the girl is a keeper. I do not care. I don't care if she's a keeper. This whole relationship has been based on a lie. Louis, who cares if you're not? I have never seen you being happy with anyone else. This is the girl you have been waiting for. Do you know what? I care. I care. I'm tired of putting my heart on the line for a woman and having been trampled upon. So I care. Yes. Look, if she has not told you, that's because she was afraid that this kind of thing might happen one day. Louis, you need to go after her. This girl is traveling. She's going back to New York. You have to go after her. Please, bro. This girl will make a good wife for you. I know that I caused you a lot of pain. <sighs> Baby, I have forgiven you. I mean, what are sisters for, right? Although you caused me huge trouble, like really, really, really big trouble, but I forgive you. Doesn't matter, okay? I will miss you. I'm going to miss you too. <laughs> and I love you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, let's go, let's go, let's go, I think we're ready. You said the car just left for the airport, right? Yeah, I think I can still be able to catch up with her once I drive fast. Just give me a brief description of the car. Tell me how it looks like. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Annie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Seth. I'm so, so sorry for everything. Look, I'm crazy about you. I've, I've never felt this way for anybody. The way I feel for you, Steph, is it's just driving me crazy. I will be a fool if I let you go. I, Steph, please forgive me. Let's just, don't go. Just stay, let's work it out. I mean, I, I, we, 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 we can fix this, please. I love you, please, Steph. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Say it again. I've never felt this way for anybody no, that no, I feel no. for. My name. Say my name. S Steph. 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 I love you. I love you. Thank you. I 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs>